How far guys? Welcome to the Make Mad Sense podcast. My name is Ario Ifyok Adebanjo and I'm your host with the most. So this week's episode, hmm, hmm, this week's episode is special to me because it was one of those episodes that got me in my feelings when I was listening to it. It took me back to one time I was photographing at an event. I was standing by the stage and someone was giving a speech about the celebrant. It got so emotional and the person started to shed some tears. People gathered and all. I didn't know when I started to shed tears myself. It was such an emotional moment. Now this episode just gave me that same vibe in a good way. It felt like Winifred took my hands and led me through her journey in person. It's such a beautiful and inspiring story. So without further talk, let's get straight into it. Hi, my name is Winifred. I am a project coordinator, a podcaster at Rare Conversations with Winifred. I am an ice cream lover. (laughs) I enjoy learning more about self-awareness and personal development. Most of the time you find me researching (laughs) about mental health, personal development, self-development, and I enjoy unpacking different topics with my friends and family. What does self-esteem mean to me? Self-esteem is basically how comfortable I am with who I am, who I am becoming, um, the kind of vibe I give off, and not necessarily based on how people perceive me, it's just based on who I am okay with as a human being. Every time I wake up in the morning, like the the Winifred that I, I get to see in the mirror, that's what self-esteem means to me. And it's, it's such a huge thing to me because I guess it affects your relationship with every other thing in life. It affects how you look at life in general, your perspective. Um, it also affects where your where your source of identity is. You know, um, what you attach to your identity. Um, so for me, it's just me always being in in check with who I am. You know, in tune. It's for me. It's always so basically being more in tune with who I am. You know, always making sure that I'm on the right track of who I want to become and who Christ Christ wants to be wants me to become. Um, and just how that affects every other thing in my life. Did your parents or environment afford you the opportunity to express and be yourself, or did it hinder you? Um, growing up, I grew. Up, I spent a lot of time with my dad, and I just grew up to be this opinionated person in a good way. I really don't care what anyone has to say. Like, I love that about me, you know. So. I just, I, I don't think that, you know, my parents had any, um, any role to play in hindering just who, you know, how, it, how expressive I was or my strong personality. My, my dad really allowed me like blossom in that, in that aspect, um, while still cautioning me, obviously. Um, so it was really beautiful, but then adulthood hit <laughs> and then, you know, so I had a good environment, but at the same time, what? Well, towards like um at the end of my secondary school um where you know we're in boarding school now and you know it's it's a different environment and i think that that was where i started struggling with just how um how i was as a person like my personality um i felt like you know i allowed people make me feel too sensitive too emotional and you know it kind of hindered me because i felt like i had to shrink myself because there were situations where you know like you're too loud or you're too sensitive or when something clearly hurts me you know so it was it was it was the beginning of a, a journey to like of like questioning myself and my my behavior and my personality and just having to unpack you know but i would say that definitely in in secondary school like at the end like towards maybe ss2 ss3 i started you know i i guess i really really struggled with you know expressing myself and being myself because i felt like i had to shrink to just be in that environment and also like with with um divorce and you know 
having to navigate that um there were just a lot of things where it was such a huge change you know so it just it, it was a lot of struggle with my personality and my my mindset and just who i was it was it was a lot of you know new new beginnings and i had to discover myself all over again so i wouldn't say like my parents hindered but i've had environments that definitely you know hindered me from being myself or just you know i kind of shrunk a little bit but thank god we're out of those kind of environments and i think that generally um as a human being you know you should always aim to be in an environment that allows you to be you in in your entirety um to be who god has made you to become like um i don't think that god made any mistake in making us and we are very different individually like we we have our different characters and different traits and that's the beauty of life in itself so um growing and as i grow and as i'm as i'm learning i'm always aiming to put myself in environments that allow me to be myself because i'm not i'm not here to shrink myself i'm not supposed to shrink i'm supposed to just blossom and just be the best version of who i am so yeah advice always be in an environment that helps you and allows you to be the best version of who you're supposed to be <laughs> um what role has social media played on your self-esteem as it had any positive or negative impact on your self-esteem Ooh, social media like i love social media at the same time i hate it because i feel like it's not necessarily about me like i said i'm just i'm such a sensitive person and i think that i feel things extremely i'm a hypersensitive person so hsp you should actually if you learn about that you know how certain things are way more intense for us than the regular human beings um so i tend to feel things a little bit deeply so when there's, there's a lot of like bad things happening at once it can be a little bit overwhelming it triggers my anxiety so it's not necessarily self-esteem but it definitely has like some impact on like how i'm feeling generally in terms of self-esteem in particular I would say not necessarily it has really helped me to actually learn more about things you know be more aware of like different things like politics to social to, to social um, issues to things based on justice like it just opens my eyes more to the world that is, that is beyond me you know beyond my 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 house beyond my room you know um and that has had had a huge effect on i guess my self-esteem because it has made me more confident in terms in terms of conversations that i'm having with people um negatively i would say there's sometimes obviously you feel like shit and you look at every other person's life and you are i guess you feel like you're not where you, you want to be but then again that's not social media that's kind of me you know that's that's on you it's not nobody's fault because you know comparison is, is a thief of joy <laughs> you just want to it's hard but like you just have to focus on the good things on the things that are going on well in your life the things that you have control over because we don't really know what's happening behind the scenes for other people's lives so simply put i'll say more of positive than negative yeah what would you say to encourage your younger self mm, that's such a good question i would say that i understand how you feel i think that when i was younger i felt like yeah my on, on twitter when i was in in secondary school on twitter my my um slogan was <laughs> easily misunderstood and oh my god why am i getting emotional so easily misunderstood because i felt like nobody understood what i was going through nobody understood what just me in general like i was just always seen as the problem and it really had a huge impact on just how i felt as a human in general um you know it just made me feel like there was this part of me that nobody wanted to understand and i would say i guess i would say to my younger self that i understand you understand your everything that you're feeling because it was it was a very weird time for me um it felt like i was just alone you know and that really on the good side <laughs> On the good side it really opened my eyes to my faith it opened my eyes to to christ um it made me understand that you know 
Christ was the only person that understood me um, in my entirety. Like, he was the one that was patient with me. He was the one that really just understood everything I was going through, you know. And even though, like, now we, we were growing up, we look at him and we, we're like, oh my God, that was such a small, small thing. But I think I had so many instances where... I felt like everybody just wanted to not understand me, you know, like nobody was trying to to see where I was coming from. So I guess I would say to my younger self, I see where you're coming from. I understand how you feel and I love you. That's that's what I would say to my younger self. Um, oh my God, I'm sorry. I don't know why I got emotional there. What are the things you now love about yourself, love most about yourself? Um, Oh my God, I love that I am a ball of transformation. I would say that God has transformed me in so many ways. Um, there, there's so many times where I've had to question myself so much. And I, I guess it's good to question yourself, actually. Like, it's good to check yourself. But there were so many times where I was questioning myself in a negative way. It was like I just, I allowed everyone's opinion of me define who I who I am and that's not that's not what life should be about so I, I'm so grateful for God's transformation I always say that you know God is a transforming God like he's a transforming father like his level of transformation is way beyond any human what any human can do what any human can see so um transforming me in terms of like my heart my perspective like the things that get to me and the things that do not um i love that i'm just i'm just way different from who i was and it's 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 nice you know i love i love my sensitivity i love that i feel things and i don't know that i want to be any other person and obviously there's some days where it just feels like oh jesus you know but then for the most part i really love you know my my sensitivity it's a gift and um god is god will keep showing me ways to use it for good um i love that i <laughs> i am this strict person <laughs> i am very i don't know i just if this is what i want i go af- go after it and um i don't really let people's opinions like i'm, I'm not i'm not you know against the idea of going against the rules and i don't feel like as a christian you know (laughs) god wants us to be like you know just you know follow the everything by the book so i am very i'm I'm, i love the 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 idea that i am going against the norm but you know going with christ's um path i guess going with his rules going with his with his direction i i like that i'm just going against the norm of the words you know idea which is amazing for me so i love that i love i'm comfortable with with that you know i i'm i'm very happy about that um i love so many things about myself but yeah i guess i just i love who i am becoming i I love that i'm not trying to live up to any other person's standards aside mine and god's standards um i love that i'm accepting myself in my entirety like you know the good the bad the ugly the days where i um go off uh, the days where something pisses me off and i i can express it easily and in a good way with grace the the days where i'm also really really happy and i express that too and the days where i feel like shit and i express that i i used to be this person that felt like you know as a christian i have to be this i have to be this calm person i have to be this person but i'm not i'm literally you know again so different so complex and i love it i don't want to be any other thing but myself and just who god has called me to be like in in my entirety i want to really have fun with who i am and obviously it's a journey there's some days i still feel like shit but like i'm learning to now accept those days those shitty days and so those good days so yeah i I just love this this journey and yeah i'm grateful for it (laughs) my name is winifred and i make mad sense (laughs) thank you guys how far guys i hope you're inspired by today's episode don't forget to share this with your family and friends i should mention that we'll be taking a little sabbatical break 
to refresh, renew, and come back with more great content for you. So this is going to be our last episode until we are back. While we're away, I want you to do something for the world. Share episodes from our podcast. You see, God is raising an army of purpose-driven individuals and they need confidence for the work ahead. This will be your own contribution to this great movement. Until our next episode, stay awesome and safe. Be the best I make my sense human you can possibly be. And don't forget, you make mad sense. Peace.